over at, at uh, feeltheburn.org, which is a great website put together without the knowledge or approval of the, of the Sanders campaign. Uh, but I'm sure they're quite happy about it. It's put together by uh, over 100 uh, super savvy tech folks all over the country. They have this little thing. If you go to the feeloburn.org and then you go about Bernie and then scroll down to the bottom, it says this. Bernie and a majority of American voters share the same views on the most important issues facing our families, communities, country, and planet today. Now keep in mind, these are not the views of the donor class to the Republican Party, and they're not the views, in some cases, of the donor class to the Democratic Party. Bernie and 68% of Americans believe that super wealthy people pay too little in federal taxes. Bernie and 85% of all business owners agree with closing all overseas tax loopholes. Bernie and 68% of Americans think we should close tax loopholes for corporations who offshore jobs. Bernie and 65% of Americans want to expand Social Security benefits. Bernie and three out of four Americans, including Republicans, want Medicaid expanded. Bernie and over half of Americans support a single-payer health care system. Bernie and over 65% of Americans support raising the minimum wage. Bernie and 6 in 10 Americans, including half of Republicans, think employers should offer paid sick leave. Bernie and 3 out of 4 Americans, including a majority of Republicans, say employees should be offered paid time after childbirth. Bernie and 64% of Americans want strict carbon limits on existing coal plants. And it goes on. You can read it online. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-536-2370. But here's the bottom line. The, the, the Supreme Court has empowered the donor class to control both parties, and the donor class, by coincidence, also owns the media. Let me just finish my, my Bernie list, and then uh, we'll pick up your phone calls here. Uh, I, I think I met the last one I read was uh, Bernie and 64% of Americans want strict carbon limits on existing coal plants. Bernie and 80% of Americans support expanded access to lower-cost student loans. Bernie and three in four Americans include spending, support more spending on our nation's infrastructure. And Bernie and 84% of Americans, including 90% of Democrats and 80% of Republicans, believe money has too much influence in U.S. politics. Which takes us back to this Politico argument, or this political, excuse, Politico argu- article, you remember I started out talking about Tom Cotton committing treason by going to Israel and standing with the leader of Israel to denounce the president of the United States. I mean, that's, that's virtually the textbook definition of treason. Tom Cotton is a traitor. He and his, 47, his 46 buddies in the United States Senate who wrote the letter to the Ayatollah, and now he's, now he's doing it again in another country. But meanwhile, here's the, this is Andrew Rustica, uh, Rustusia, I'm assuming is how he pronounces it, wrote this article in uh, yesterday's Politico. And the headline is, uh, Republicans to attack climate pact at home and abroad. And they talk about how this uh, aide to Mitch McConnell, this uh, uh, fellow uh, Neil Chatterjee, has been reaching out to foreign leaders. In fact, they, they even point out that McConnell himself, this I, a quote from the, from the article, McConnell himself warned foreign leaders last spring to, quote, proceed with caution before entering into a binding, unattainable deal with Obama. Why? Because two-thirds of the U.S. federal government, Congress and the Supreme Court, haven't signed off on the president's plans. In other words, don't, don't go along with our president. He's just trying to do what's best for us and the planet. We, the Republican Party, this is on climate change. They're trying to make it impossible for anything substantive to happen in Paris in December at the COP15 meeting. This is the, the climate, big climate convention, the big climate meeting. The Republicans are trying to make it impossible for anything to come out of that that's meaningful because it might injure the sensibility of the fossil fuel billionaires like the Koch brothers and the fossil fuel industry run by people like Rex Tillerson over at uh, ExxonMobil. And all of the various fund groups that they fund, which then in turn fund Republican candidates for office. It's amazing. And, and I think that Americans have figured it out, and I think that Americans are saying, to hell with this, we're not going to take this anymore. And that's why you see them 
you know, the, the two people in the two two political parties, the Democratic and Republican Party, who seem most like outsiders to those parties, who seem least like professional politicians, are rocketing to the top. Donald Trump and 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 along with him, Carly Fiorina and uh, Ben Carson on the Republican side. Thank you, Shane. Uh, you, you, you got these guys on the Republican side say, yeah, yeah, I'm not a politician. Never been a politician. I want to be president. I want to be a politician. <laughs> OK, fine. You're not a politician. You're not contaminated. And then on the on the Democratic side, you know, Bernie's been a politician for most of his life, but he's been a politician on behalf of the people. One of those really, really rare things. So he knows how to legislate. He knows how to get things done. And to the best of my knowledge, he has never conspired with a foreign leader to, to bring down his president. He has never committed treason.